I like to think that the grooms are part of a team. They are one of the most important components of a successful barn. At most top stables, the guys, girls, that take, help take care of the horses, they know the horses inside and out. They are one of the most important people. They know if the horse has a little filling in its legs, they see the horse is a little grumpier today. They're the first to recognize different parts of the performance and how that's gonna be affected at every horse show. They know the horses, they love the horses, they cheer for the horses as much as the trainers, the owners, and the riders. the common misperceptions are that, you know, people think they just hack up horses and muck stalls and, you know, that's, that's far from the truth. The grooms that have been with me are like family. I have one guy who's been with me 34 years and I couldn't do it without him. I, I mean, our guys have been so important to us over the years and I think anybody that runs a horse business will tell you, you just cannot do it without your grooms. Grooms in any equestrian sport, but especially for eventing, are absolutely essential and most the most key part of my program for sure and most riders' programs because on top of you know caring for the horses, there are eyes and ears on the ground and they're the ones that know the horses inside and out. They know every inch of their bodies and legs. They are our therapists and our friends and our trainers and coaches and the same for the horses. The good part is, the extra good part is, when you see the guys learn about horses and really love their horses and feel their horses. And it's been remarkable to me to watch over the years how some of the guys at our farm learned how to handle broodmares, weanlings, yearlings, all the way up to these show horses that are here today. And I, I can only say how important they are to me and how grateful I am to have had these guys around me. They almost have a sixth sense around horses. And both Mandy, my daughter Mandy, and my granddaughter Carly, and, and Cade, my grandson, have grown up around these guys, watching them handle their legs, put the tack on, actually learn to clip them without any kind of resistance by being patient and, and just having a good feel for the horse. I think that's been very instrumental in educating my family, my kids and my family. And, and of course, a lot of my students are the same way. If you talk to any, uh, any of the riders that have been with me, they, they'll know, they'll tell you about Ismo and about my guys and how comfortable my horses are. They're not worried in the grooming stalls and they can lead them around and they can go on the walkers and the shoers can handle them. And it's, it's all because of the grooms that, that live with the horses every day. The grooms love the horses, I think, often more than the owners do. They want those horses to win. They're passionate. They would love to be riding the horses. They're there taking care of them, loving them, grooming them, knowing them. And it's a privilege to be around horses like this. At any level, a horse is a gift. And I think whether you're riding them, grooming them, you know that. And once you understand that and see that and feel it, you really have a respect for every part of this industry. When you talk about grooms, you, you can easily be referencing different levels of grooms and different expectations of grooms. And from the highest level, that includes management, and to uh, even paperwork to the guy that just is starting and learning and, and is feeding and cleaning. There's a lot of levels and each one has its importance. In my world, when we were in full swing, we had sort of a process where they started at one level and, and if they wanted and could, they would move up to, to the position that Ismo's in today. And again, it's so important to recognize them as individuals 
give them opportunity to exceed in their career and treat them like it's a career and that like they have the advantage to move up and that they really are a part of the team and certainly if you just watch the Pan Am games and you you know that level of, of business people and grooms, I'm sure they'd all tell you the same thing. They're a part of the management and crucial to their to the rider's success. So I think you have to refer to them at different levels. There's just like any job, they come in at a level, they earn their way up and you've got to recognize them as individuals and give them that opportunity. A big part of it is just getting to know them and then knowing what they need every day because people always want the job to be very black and white but there's such a gray area with what every horse needs and being willing to do different things for different horses and being willing to try different things if a horse needs something different than what the other ones that you've done before have needed. When I was a kid I found a rehab facility not far from my house and uh, went there and asked for a job. And then some eventing riders were there uh, starting babies. And that's kind of how I got started in eventing. They just kind of picked me up off the side of the road. And then I just, I didn't, I don't even think I realized that grooming was like an actual job. It just kind of happened. And then I'm better at grooming than riding. So I just kept doing that, basically.